my name is Bonique Kambi. Uh, I'm a tutor at Upframe Academy. I usually tutor the small kids from age five to upwards onwards. I usually teach the tinker and the pre-tinker pre level. Uh, my experience has been wonderful. I guess interacting with small kids, you get to see like how they see the world. So you see the world through their eyes. Because I can teach them something and then they tell me what about if you do this or what about if you do that. So I also get to learn a lot from them. I'm Ian Nirongo. I've been a tutor here at Upram for the last seven months. Uh, the experience has been great with the kids, interacting with them. Uh, we learn a lot from them as tutors, as they do from us in terms of IT and also in terms of life because they come with uh, ex different experiences, different backgrounds uh, and we, we learn how to engage a lot with people from diverse backgrounds. My name is Malcolm Martin. I am seven years old. In Upframe Academy, I, I learned how to make apps and publish them in Google Store. Here at Upframe, we have three levels. We have the Tinker level, and we have the Explorer level, and we have the Advanced level. So Pre-Tinker is a program that is designed for small kids who have actually no knowledge about computers. So the Pre-Tinker level, we teach them like what is a computer, the very big basics of computing. We teach them what is a computer, um, how, how do you operate a computer, how do you open a computer, the basic techniques, and then we introduce them to animation using the Scratch program, and then also the robotics using the Mickey Mickey kit. For the pre-tinker pre level you want, the small kids, you just introduce them so that you can see are they interested or not. And if they're interested, then they learn animation. By the time they're done with the pre-tinker level, they know actually how to operate a computer. They can make animations like the way they see on cartoons and all that. So it's, a, it's actually a visual thing, yeah, to make it interesting because their concentration span is little. And for the Tinker now, it's more an advanced version of the pre-Tinker, yeah. So we'll do the scratch, but in a more advanced way and make more complicated games or more complicated animations and make more complicated projects on robotics. I've done mole mash, I've made talking cards, my profile app, and a drawing app. What we have at the Explorer level is an advanced stage. Once after kids have learned the basics of coding and logics, we have what is called the problem solving and innovation phase. They, they come up with different problems that we as the older generation may not be able to get, get we may not be able to be seeing them but for the kids especially with their intuitive nat nature they get to see some fine problems that we may be overlooking and they do come up with apps for that the advanced program now this is where now we graduate them from the visual learning to now IT standards that are all over the world here we have web development we also have graphics development and this is HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript. We move them on to basic Java also. What they need to do is keep practicing. We do give assignments and as they grow older, they will meet more and more programmers hopefully out there in higher levels of education if they do take IT they will get to learn much, much more. And technology, as you know, keeps changing. There will be new standards coming up. There will also be new problems to be solved. They will be, they will be needed in that area. I love apps and programming.